I'm Sarah here at Craft Habit, and today I'm going to show you a very easy pillowcase cover inspired by the Our Planet panel print from Dashwood Studio. This panel is great for small projects. This particular pillowcase is called a pocket pillow or sometimes an envelope pillow. It is a throw pillow cover that doesn't need to have a zipper or buttons, which means it's very comfortable. It's made with two overlapping panels on the back, and all you have to do is open them up, slip your pillow inside, and that's it. So to get started, we're gonna need a pillow form. We're using a 16 inch square pillow form for this sample. You will need a 17 by 17 inch square for the front of your pillow. And for the back panels of your pillow, I like to start with something that is 17 inches by 22, which if you recognize that, is close to a fat quarter. You're going to slice your back panel pieces in half because like we said, what's gonna happen is they are going to overlap each other eventually. So this is just a little mock-up to show you that once these panels are hemmed, we're gonna line them up to the four corners of your front panel. Those back panels will overlap a little bit. And if you don't wanna do pom-pom fringe, which we're gonna do in this video, this is, this is ready to go. If you don't want pom-pom fringe, you just need to do one extra step, which is to hem one of the, or both of the raw edges of your panel. So I've got a panel with a raw edge here. I'm gonna fold that under a quarter inch, another quarter inch. You can even do a half inch and a half inch if you're more comfortable. There's plenty of fabric for that. So I'm gonna fold, press, and stitch that. Now you can do the same thing on your other panel, but if you have got a selvage edge, like I do on this, then you can cheat and just use the selvage edge. The selvage is the bound edge of the fabric, and even though it's not straight or always pretty, it is not going to unravel. So I have pressed and stitched one of the 17 inch edges of one of my panels. And like I said, you can either repeat that on the other panel or if you have this handy selvage edge, just use that to your advantage. Now that our back panels are done, we're ready to put pom-pom trim on the front panel. Or if you're skipping pom-pom trim, you can just fast forward this part of the video. If you are doing pom-pom trim for a 16 inch pill, you'll need about two yards to start with. Uh, you're going to want to attach the pom-poms to the right side of your fabric. Now in my sample, this fabric doesn't have a right or wrong side, so I can just pick which one I want to be. Um, however, if you have a fabric that has an obvious right or wrong side, like this tiger, that has a print on one side and none on the other, you want to make sure that you're attaching your pom-poms to the right side of the fabric. We're going to use Wonder Tape to hold the pom-pom trim onto the fabric before we stitch. Wonder Tape is great. You can sew through it and it washes out later. It won't gunk up your needle. It's a double-sided tape for sewing. You're gonna to wanna to cut four pieces, the length of your four sides, and um, Wonder Tape has a backing on it. Before you stick it down, get the backing started. Start peeling off the backing a little bit. It's pretty hard to do once it's stuck on your fabric, but sort of get that started so that once you put the rest of your tape down, you've got a little tab to pull on to get that backing off. So you're gonna to wanna to stick that down around all four sides. I'm not putting this at the very edge of the fabric. I'm coming in about a quarter inch. Um, so that's stuck down. Then you can remove the backing and the wonder tape sticks pretty well. It's, it's fun stuff. I'll put a link to it in our description. Now you're going to attach the um, just sort of braided edge of the pom-pom trim, you're gonna stick that right down on the wonder tape. And you wanna make sure the pom-poms are pointing in towards the middle of the pillow. Um, after it's sewn together, they'll point out, but for now, they need to point in. So just move all the way along, sticking your pom-poms down, um, and when, or sticking your trim down, the pom-poms will actually be bobbling around a little bit. When you get to the corner there, you've got two options. If you're pretty comfortable with sewing on trims, you can decide to just turn the corner with your pom-pom trim. I'm gonna show you stick a finger down in the corner and then just pull your trim at a 90 degree angle and stick it down. But that can be tricky. You might get too many pom-poms in the corner, so it's also totally fine. And sometimes easier to cut your pom-pom trim so you're doing one piece for each side. Um, so I'm gonna do that here. I'm gonna snip that, and it is a little bit easier to uh, thin angle that way. So now I'm gonna stick all four sides down, so you can see I've got all my pom-poms on there. All the pom-poms are pointing towards the center of the pillow, and the Wonder Tape's gonna hold them on really well while we stitch. 
our two pieces together. So let's bring back our back cover panels. The panel that you want to be on the outside of the pillow eventually is the first one you should put down. And we're gonna go right sides to right sides. So that means that you will see your seam from your um, hemmed edge there, pin all the way around, and then we're gonna take our other piece, which either has a selvage edge or has another hemmed um, edge where they overlap. You're going to pin all the way around there as well, and we are ready to stitch. We're gonna stitch all the way around in one big seam. I like to use a zipper foot because this helps you stitch closer to the pom-poms without getting them caught under a foot as you go. So I'm using my zipper foot here and I'm doing about a half inch seam allowance. That might be a little bit smaller, um, but half inch is good because that will take your 17 inch square fabric down to 16 inches square, which is gonna give you a nice tight fit for your pillowcase. And that's what you want. You don't want a floppy pillowcase. All right, so I've stitched all the way around. The next step is to clip the corners. There's a lot of bulk in those corners. You just trim off a triangle uh, close to your stitches, but don't cut through your stitches. And you'll do that on all four corners. And then we get to the moment of truth, flipping it. And there are those pom-poms happily bobbing away. It's good to have a chopstick here or a point turner to help you get those corners out a little bit tighter, a little more angular there. Oh, I like how this is looking. So we get all our corners poked out and you can see that the back panels overlap. The panel with the, the hemmed panel is the one that's visible. Now I'm gonna put that pillow in and see how it works. Hopefully as advertised. All right, so there's our pom-pom pillow. You can also do it without pom-poms, the same method, a pocket pillow, envelope pillow. You can do this on any size. I've even done this on round pillows before. Um, and this is the R Planet panel print, which is a mouthful. Uh, it has so many gorgeous illustrations on it. Um, we have a few more videos of other projects we've used this for. Um, and we just love it. It's great for small projects, for tote bags, for um, pennants, and of course, pillows like this. Uh, so I hope this has helped you and you get inspired. Happy sewing. Bye.